Hello again, all my little bunnies. Uh, Daisy here, and I'd like to thank everybody for watching today. Uh, so, yeah, last video I talked about intolerances. Now, that is not the same as the other issue that people can have. Uh, that is a food allergy. An allergy is a lot more issuous. An allergy can be very life-threatening. So, this is an important part here. An intolerance, you have a higher probability of just getting a stomach ache. It can cause some issues, but it's generally nothing too serious. Digestively unhappy. <laughs> so, you can wind up with tummy ache, but you're probably not going to kill someone. A food allergy, however, can be serious. I have a few of those, and I have a few friends with a few of those, and we often joke uh, about the situations in the fact that we jokingly say, oh, I put all of your allergies in the food, and I put all of mine in too, so nobody wins. <laughs> uh, now, some more major ones are people's shellfish allergies. Thankfully, I do not have this one because I love shrimp, I love lobster. I would be sad if I couldn't have lobster. <laughs> I love making lobster. That is something I enjoy cooking fresh. Um, in fact, I love the one time I went up and visited the in-laws and we went to a, uh, a dive bar in the middle of Maine. They're from Maine. <laughs> so uh, I got a lobster stuffed with an entire other lobster with a big side of fries and a corn on the cob. And I was the cheapest person at the dinner table. And everybody else just got fried fish chunks of some sort, like scallops or something, or fish fillets. And I was the cheap one who got a lobster stuffed with another lobster. Maine is awesome. I need to visit the in-laws more often. So, end of story. <sighs> but in any case, uh, shellfish is definitely a major allergy a lot of people have. Peanuts is another one. Uh, and I feel bad for anybody that has either of these because... It is so easy for anything to have been in contact with peanuts or tree nuts or any other nuts they may potentially be allergic to. Peanuts are technically not a nut. Uh, te te peanuts are technically not a nut. They're a legume. But digestively, <laughs> they, they have that fun reaction. Um, but so many things are processed in plants with, that may contain peanuts and or tree nuts. So it's like, oh. Oh, do you have a Yahtzee level of potential uh, death uh, here? It might be in this candy bar because we make these things in this building, therefore, you're doomed. Uh, so, nuts, not a fun allergy by far. And so many things contain nuts that you don't even think about. Uh, I've been told, I, I'm not the scientist here, but things like frying in peanut oil is not the same as eating peanuts, but for some people it may have interaction issues, so if you know you have an interaction issue, you don't want anything fried in peanut oil, but I each problem their own. <laughs> I never want to tell anyone their allergy is wrong. Everybody knows where they get sick or where their face swells up, because that's the kind of thing that happens when you have food allergies. You like your throat will swell shut, your mouth will swell up, your you'll get really, really not good really fast. Uh, a uh, a silly tagline from an episode of Scrubs was uh, involved a lady going into the doc the hospital from in trouble for eating shellfish, and her answer was, "I took it out of the shell." And I just, I lose it every time I think about that one. It's like, but I took it out of the shell. <laughs> no, that doesn't fix it. Most people's shellfish allergy no, to not even touch the shrimp platter. And pay attention to make sure anybody that's been dipping their hands in the shrimp platter is not also dipping their hands in the cracker and cheese platter directly after because now they just contaminated everything. Not good. <laughs> Uh, and my one friend that uh, was local, I think is about to be local again, has similar allergy, and we often have a shrimp platter and a meat and cheese platter next to each other. So uh, he is very good about paying attention. Uh, 
I have a very interesting allergy that uh, people have tried to sneak into my diet enough times. Don't do that. Someone has a food allergy, do not try and sneak it in and say, oh, you just need to adapt. No. <laughs> no. I'm allergic to mustard. And for some, anyone else, it's normal. You don't have to think about this. You may not even like mustard. But you probably eat it in about a dozen places. You don't even think about it. Uh, almost every salad dressing contains mustard. Mayonnaise contains mustard, if it's actual mayonnaise. Uh, most baked beans contain mustard. Vienna sausages can contain mustard. Uh, I've seen the ingredients with or without them. I don't necessarily trust whether or not it's not in there since I've seen it in there enough times, so I can't eat those. Uh, but so many food products have it. Uh, the powdered wasabi you get at a, uh, at a sushi bar in the United States needs horseradish and mustard. So, uh, can't win. Um, I have to be very careful what I buy when it, because I love baked beans. I found like one brand that doesn't have it in it. Um, but I love them, so it works out fine. I can't have bushes. They all have mustard now. I used to be able to buy certain brands, uh, certain store brands, but we're fine. Then they started adding it. Hey, now I can't have those. Yay! Thanks for adding ingredients that you didn't need. Didn't help me at all. Um, so, mine's a more of an instant return policy normally when it involves that particular product. Uh, this one's one that I've had known about for a long, long time. Uh, in fact, I used to not be able to eat food if I saw it on the table because, well, if something is that destructive to my insides, it makes me ill immediately upon ingestion, having it be a visible item in front of me does not make me feel like eating. If anything, it really, really makes me not want to have food, seeing mustard on the table. I've gotten better on this, mind you, uh, trying my best to ignore its existence, uh, but Ugh. Ugh. No, not a not a caddy friendly food. <laughs> um, I know there are a lot of other allergies out there food wise. Um, so this is a thing a lot of people have to live with. Uh, just remember the there's food intolerances. Please respect people with those too. As I explained in my last video, those are really not fun. Uh, allergies are way, way, way worse, though. So, uh, if someone says, I'm allergic to shellfish or peanuts or whatever, respect that. Uh, some people think they have intolerances for other things because the media thinks you should worry about this and or they'll get into the fad of it, whether or not they have a problem. Unless you have a doctor tell you you have a gluten intolerance, you probably don't have a gluten intolerance. Go see a doctor. Ask them about this stuff. Uh, a lot of times, just the placebo effect of trying something different, you'll think you're magically feeling better, like you went from you went gluten-free and you feel better. That doesn't necessarily mean you're gluten intolerant. That means you cooked something fresh, possibly. You found flour and you made something from scratch opposed to having a pre-made item. That's not the same. <laughs> if anything, you may have had an even better experience had you made a gluten-filled fresh object. You know, it felt just as good and probably liked the flavor better. So, ta-da. Uh, don't just jump to thinking of an allergy or an intolerance. Uh, unless you got a good proof of it, such as the milk thing. You could, if you say, eat ice cream and you get a stomach ache, kind of can figure out it's one thing that's caused the problem. <sighs> but still, no matter what, if someone has an issue or feels they have an issue, don't be mean to them in person. Don't force them to eat things they don't want to eat. Of course, if you eat food is not nice. That's what religions make you do. Uh, 
Uh, also, one reason I never went into missionary work, which I thought about as a teenager, but yeah, no. Heard about a lot of things they made them eat when they were in Africa. Not going to do that. Having it be a delicacy to have the warm milk with flies in it that they got, that that was special. And I was just, and no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, all right. Well, thank all you little bunnies for watching this video. It was uh, fun to talk about allergens. Uh, and I uh, hope you have a relaxing rest of your day. Keep yourself fluffy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you feel like using the Patreon, link's going to be down below. I always appreciate it. Not required, but always an option. Uh, video earlier about what I offer and such. You want to watch it? Cool. They'll tell you what's there. Same videos linked at the Patreon itself. So, yay. Uh, so, I want you all to be good little bunnies. Behave. Stay fluffy. Stay pink. Stay pretty. And uh, think fluffy thoughts. This is Daisy signing out, and I'll see you later.